What up guys, and welcome. My name is Musa, and today we are playing some more Satisfactory. As you can see right here in front of you, I have been doing a little bit of work off camera, because this game is a lot of grind, and um, I wanted to be able to at least get tier 3 completed in this video, which I will be able to do with this factory that I've made right here. Tier 3 needs a lot of rotors and a lot of uh, frames, enforced frames, and therefore I made this giant piece of trash right here in front of us, B but it works. It's overproducing things and it's not optimized at all, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that I have rotors and frames, and well, copper is not a problem because that has been running all the time. So I've been doing a little bit of upgrading as well, uh, some storage upgrade, especially for our concrete, because I don't really use concrete and we have so much fucking concrete, it's insane. And we make a lot more cables than anything else for some reason, which is really, uh, that's really good. So, today, this one we can do right now, so that's not a problem. So we just put in all the stuff that it needs. Bam, there we go. Go! Now we can make vehicles. Milestone reached. The first Long vehicle. Range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. Outpost? Vehicle stations have built in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Oh yeah, they need biofuel. Very nice. Go into space, my dude, and be back in like three minutes. Very, very nice. Very nice. Alright, so what is the next thing we can do? Basic steel production? Alright. So, basic steel production, it needs it needs some stuff. I'll just be back guys once the uh, once our little space drone has come back to us and then I've also collected all of the stuff. So yeah, see you in a little while. And guys, he's back from outer space so we can actually get basic steel production of some BAM 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 and then some concrete and then a lot of wires and then GO! Go my sweet angel my little oh, angel go into steel space production steel production unlocked access to new simple steel parts okay. an additional project part can now be constructed goodbye to the next phase is now possible yeah, it, it's possible to go on to the next phase. So we just completed tier 3, yes guys. So the next thing we will do is improve melee combat because we'll get an extra hand and a better weapon and inventory. It will take him seven and a half minutes to get back, guys. So yeah, well, we need, ooh, we need, we need reinforced plates, that's not a problem. That's not a problem, guys. We have so many of those. We're overproducing them, actually. So they are somewhere in one of the machines. I'll just go out and actually collect that right now, guys. So, guys, I have all the stuff right here. The only thing to do now is to wait for six minutes until he's back, you know, from space. And here we go, guys. There it is. Right there. He's coming right into landing. So he can get sent off into space directly. As fast as possible. Just get your sh sh inventory. That was what I wanted to say. Just get your ass down here so I can put stuff inside of it. Right, he's plugged in. There we go. So we just send rotors and then he needs some reinforced plates and he needs some wires and that. There we go. So now we have improved melee combat. Why? Wait, what? Why can't I do this? Why can't I launch him? Oh, now I can. There we go. Back into space you go. Back into space you go. Very nice. My pocket dimension. Very nice, guys. We will actually be building that. So that's from, it should be this thing. Let's just turn it around, there we go. 
there, Exino Basher. So we need two of these. So cables and wires. I'll just be back in a moment, guys, with cables and wires. Alright, guys, so we can just make another one of these. Then I should have two of them. Because we can just do this, and then it's in my inventory, and then we should be able to make this. We just need wires. Of course, I didn't take enough wires. I'll be back in a moment, guys. There we go, now I have enough wires. Now we can make this, the Exino Basher, which is even more awesome than what we already had. So let's just equip this. Ooh, there we go, guys. Little keychain. Mmm. Very nice. Yes, yes, it's a freaking sword now. So now we can reach things further and we should also do more damage. So that's amazing. Beacons, I don't really care. But you can stay there for now. So. Oh, he's back, guys. That's nice. But we don't really need him for now. Now, we should be able to go in and make some steel production. And I think what we need for that is coal and iron ores. And we have coal. We have a lot of coal. I mean, it is being used for our... Uh, electricity production but how much electricity are we using not too much not too much we could take from this because it's not running all the time which means we're not using all the coal that the miner is able to produce and we have a lot of space right here which is where I think I will be building our uh, steel production area for the different kind of things that steel can produce, which is pipes and whatnot. Whatnot. I don't actually know too much about it, but let's just take a look in here. So it's these things. And there should be one more, like the, the reinforced uh, beam thingy. I don't know what that needs. I think it needs concrete, definitely. But we can make steel beams, which is... That's just easily produced directly out of ingots which is iron and, and, and coal. So I think I'll just make two foundries, one that creates steel pipes and one that makes steel beams. And then we can produce uh, what else it needs, actually. We just need 200 pipes there, 300 there, that's 500. These, however, I don't really know how they are made. But that's after, after we figured this one out. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I just need to check if everything is recording. And it is. Good. So we need to do this one first, which is advanced steel production. Which will make me be able to get Miner Mark II. That's actually not a bad idea. Because that way I can make even more coal and even more iron. That's nice. So that means that one Miner on a pure ore should be able to feed eight furnaces. Oh my god, man. I can see that this factory at some point is actually going to be staying. I think I'll tear all this down and then actually build one that will last a lot longer. But, yeah. We'll take a look at that. So, I will start setting up over there and then I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. So I'm just back after I've built all of this stuff for the steel production. So I just took a branch off directly from the coal right here. It shouldn't be a problem. We're producing a lot of coal. And then the iron I've just taken directly out of the uh, the, the system over here. Um, because it doesn't run all the time. We're not using enough of the iron ore anyway for the production of rotors and frames. So this is fine. It's fine with me, I guess. I'll, s I'll actually see how much it uses once I actually start it up. Um, yeah, and you're just running around in my factory. Very nice. Well, he's not a he's not hostile, so it's fine. So this guy will make steel ingots, and this guy can make steel ingots. Very nice. Turned on and everything, making steel ingots. That comes out pretty fast. That's really nice. Let's see. This is running now all the time. Let's see. It looks like 
Yeah, it still stops a little now and then, so it's fine. We're still producing enough, guys. We're still producing enough for everything. So that's really nice. This factory is coming along very nicely. But, as I told you, I think I'll tear it down and build it up again once I get the, the upgraded uh, miners. And then on one floor I'll just have furnaces. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get a an, uh, an miner 3, but eh, that's what we need to get into. So this guy will make steel beams, and this guy will make steel pipes. And that way, we also have a production of steel beams and pipes now. So what we need for the next thing is the reinforced... Reinforced beams, I guess? Which is made out of these, right? So, let me just do this little handsome trick right here. Bam, there we go. Now we can see that that is beams. Because right now I can remember it. Um, wait, one. Didn't that work? There we go. And that is steel pipes. So, guys, how much was it we needed for the next milestone thing over here? Just trying to get through my factory here. That's also a problem. Um, we needed 200 pipes. Uh, so I guess I could just make both of them produce pipes to begin with. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I will make both of them produce pipes to begin with, because we need a lot of pipes. Um, and that's It's not a big problem, I can just reroute it to producing some other things afterwards. So that's what we will do. It's very simple actually to reprogram these machines anyway. So it will, both of them will produce pipes for now. It doesn't take long. I, I can see it doesn't take that long uh, to get 200 pipes. So guys, I will be back once I have everything for the next milestone, which is advanced steel production. So yeah, I'll see you guys. All right, guys. So we now have the 200 pipes. We have the 200 rotors, the 1500 wires and 300 concrete. There we go. Advanced steel production. Bam. Into space with you, Milestone Angel. Improved Why is it not flying? To double extraction rates and improve efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex Why is it not parts flying? is now available for crafting. An additional project part can now be constructed. Okay. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's not what we need to work on right now. Now we need tier 4 to be finished first. So, this thing is actually also something we can do now, but we can make Miner's Mark 2, which is really, really freaking awesome. I'll set that up off camera for you guys, so you guys don't have to deal with that. And uh, then I should actually also be building a really nice factory out of that too maybe do a time lapse of that, that could be awesome. See, now you're stuck here, so just just crouch and get out. Um, okay, so I don't know why it didn't fly into space, so I guess we could just have actually gotten everything ready for uh, this. Let's just do this one, because this one we get even better conveyor belts and industrial storage containers, which is also really nice. Stackable pipeline support... Meh, I don't really know if we will need that. But well, let's just let's just get this done too. It's 200 beams and 100 pipes and 500 concrete. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I'm back from our little production of steel beams. Let's just put that in and 500 of those. And then you are ready to go. Now we have logistics. And this time it's actually this time it's actually flying. Improved with a larger storage container, larger storage container. Belt efficiency. and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. That's really nice because our miners will produce twice as much as these, which is 120. That's 240. So these can actually carry more than what they can mine. I, I don't know. That's that's okay. That's completely fine. So what is it we'll be needing to work on now? That's the hyper tubes. We don't actually need them for now. Actually, it could be fun to have up to our coal production area. So let's just put that up as miles, the next milestone, guys. So we have the copper sheets. We don't have anything else. 
I am going to make a production of uh, the the enforced beams because now we actually have a way of upgrading all of our miners and have them being able to carry all the stuff they mine up. So we need 300 pipes. So again, I'll just make you create pipes instead because that's what we need. We need pipes. So guys, I will just really quickly upgrade all of the miners. Be back in a second. So guys, we're back and now we actually have the the in encased industrial beams right here. That's really nice. 50 of them. While uh, while I was doing that, guys, we actually also ran out of power, so I just needed to hook one more of our coal generators up. I knew that I would need those at some point in the future, but now we are ready to actually get this fucker off. Oh, okay, I've just used a little bit of the copper sheep. sheets, of course, because... I'm an idiot, and I know that pipes needs copper sheets, but apparently I haven't actually dis you know remember that shit. And we also need to upgrade all the miners. Uh, uh, that's going to be fine. It's going to be uh, okay. So let's just be, uh, put you back in here and take another hundred. I can see that. I also need to upgrade the storage space over here for you. And I also made one of these that just makes some normal plates because I don't know. I needed some more plates, so. This factory is coming along nicely. Very nicely indeed. Indeed, indeed. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. And then we need 300 of these fuckers. And then 50 of those. Mm. Hybrid tubes. There we go. Tier 4 completed, guys. Has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Yes. Perfect. Introducing hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Very nice. No. I think that we will be building some of those as well, especially so we can get up to our coal. Because that's all the way up there on that freaking mountain. So guys, that was technically it for now. Um but I can upgrade all the miners now, so that's really nice. We can get twice as much uh, juice out of our uh, veins. So that way I can build another section of the factory that will actually do uh, the space elevator stuff. But I think that I might do that off camera. Uh, at least some of the building, then I'll update you guys on all the stuff along the way. Let's take a look here. Production, assembler. Let's just build this so I can show you guys what it is I'm going to be doing. We can build it up in the air for some reason. Oh, okay. It actually got some legs. It's really nice, this game. It's It, it has some really nice things. So these three right here. Oh my god. These three right here is what we need for the space elevator. And I remember we need 500 of these guys. Guys, um... And I don't remember what else we needed, but 500 of these. Yeah, that's the the next episode will just be constructing factory places for these, because I'm pretty sure that there are all other places I can get iron, but but I don't know if that's a good idea to do it like that. So what do these need? They need rotors and those plates, which I'm actually producing, and I'm also producing all of this, and I'm not producing all of this. I need this. But that's not so hard to actually get. That's not hard to get. So, I think... I don't really know what I'm going to do here, guys. If I'm going to tear down this factory, rebuild it into something else, or maybe I'll just let it run, because it is producing uh, the frames that we... We need those, at least. Uh, the rotors, do we need those? I don't remember things actually, guys. That's another problem. Uh, did we need rotors for any of this? We need rotors for these, right? No? Okay, so we don't need rotors at all. Yeah, okay, we do. And we're also producing rotors with this part of the factory. So I could set these two up, actually. And then this one needs a little more work. But not much. Not much, guys. Not much at all. So, the next episode will definitely be the phase 
2 of the space elevator and yeah it's not that hard to do it's basically just repeat and repeat and repeat all of the the factory so yes guys this episode we have actually done a lot in this episode i've done tier 3 and done tier 4 those two are completely done now and in the next episode we will do the phase 2 of the elevator and maybe even start on phase 5 or you know tier 5 and tier 6 so yes guys this was a productive episode not gonna lie it was actually really nice so i'll just see you guys in the next episode bye